All right, everybody, this video is about sorting strings. So up to this point, we sorted numbers, which are pretty obvious. You know, one is smaller than two. You know, 83 is bigger than five, right? Uh, so those are pretty easy to sort. But words, a little less. Uh, but you can sort them just like you can anything else. Um, simply put, you just have to sort them alphabetically. And in fact, every letter is worth a certain amount uh, as far as the ASCII table goes. So we're just going to make a very simple sorter. It's not going to be perfect, uh, obviously. We're just going to sort them with the first letter. Uh, we could make it a little more robust. You could use arrays.sort, actually, and it would be far superior to what we're going to do. But uh, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple array with a couple of words in it. And we're going to adjust our bubble sort to basically sort this sim these couple of simple words here. So, so string array equals, and I'll just go ahead and throw a couple of words, Bob, and capital letter, lowercase letter are considered different here. So I probably should keep everything lowercase for now. Now, if we don't want them to be considered differently, then we can basically tell it to ignore the case. Uh, and that's one way we can fix that. Uh, otherwise, you'll get A, B, C, you know, all the way to Z, lowercase, and then you'll see A, B, C, you know, uppercase as its own kind of separate thing. So let's try just a couple of simple words. Peaches, we'll make some of these uppercase and some of these lowercase, I guess. And might as well, just to show you what I mean. And we'll make this five. There we go. So make an array of size five. And I want to sort this alphabetically, right? Well, I have a bubble sort that sorts num numbers, basically. So I'm going to adjust it for a string. Now, of course, we come in here and what are we sorting? Well, we're comparing numbers, typically. So I'm just going to say, you know, instead of numbers, dot caret zero. So dot care at zero. Let me zoom in so everybody can see this properly. I did the same thing here. And this is basically just going to take the first character. Uh, for this particular example, I'm not really worried about any other character. So, uh, and obviously I don't need a temp int. I need a string temp. And we'll just make it, you know, equal to nothing at the start. And go. We'll make sure we copy that. And now the only place I really need this dot care at is right here where I'm doing the comparison. The rest of it can be strings. And what dot care at does is it gets the first letter and compares it to the other letter, the first letter. So a string is basically an array of letters. That's why when you get a string, it actually has some functions on it uh, that you can do. Basically, temp dot care at characters to string concatenate ends with, you know, we can check to see if something is in there. We can get the length. All this stuff basically can be operated and used because uh, this is an array. Now, if I leave it as it is right now, it's going to differentiate uppercase and lowercase. So I'm going to do a little print statement here. It's going to be arrays dot to string. And it's a string array. So I'll just go down here and I'll pick obviously Boolean. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go with, well, this one object. There we go. And I want to print the array. Now, of course, I want to sort it first. so. 
let's go ahead and call bubble sort. Well, first let's print it without bubble sort. Let's see what it looks like. Perfect. Then I'm going to say bubble sort. And you'll note we get the two capitals first, and they are sorted for the most part. The lower cases are sorted second. Now that that's not exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to adjust this dot care at zero dot. Let's see. I may have to do this the other way around. Dot care at zero. May have to be done up here. Dot. And I'm looking for ignore case or two lower case. Let's say uh, that'll be fine. Just two lower case dot care at. And what that will do is ignore whether it's capital or lowercase. So if I adjust this, ignore the case, and get the character at, this is going to be the lowercase. Basically, the whole word is going to be converted to lowercase. Then we just check the first letter. And if that's bigger, ASCII-wise, then converting the next word to lowercase in the first letter, then we'll swap them around. So let's take a look at our adjustment. Bob, Fuzzy, Peaches, Pickle, Zin. There we go. So we have sorted it, uh, the strings in alphabetical order. If I wanted them to be in reverse, well, we simply have to come up here and make a little adjustment here. I make that greater than. And guess what happens? It's the other way around. Less than, greater than. Oh dear, bring that back. There we go, like so. Oop. Looks like I erased more than I thought. There we go, lowercase, bubble sort. Oh wait, what have I done? I have somehow malfunctioned this, let's see. I hit control Z a few too many times, I think. Let's see if two lowercase dot care at zero is less than this. Oh, what have I done? Let's back up a few more spaces here. Okay, that should be right. Capital, paste, extra little guy. There we go. I have no idea what happened, but there we go. This is about what it should look like. I just make the adjustment that this is going to be a string and I make these minor little adjustments here and I can sort words as well. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Now of course we could use the array sort as well. And of course here's the, the one major issue I should point out here is if this was bin, you know it's going to put Bob first because I'm sorting by the first letter not the second. But if I were to use arrays dot sort, and we try to sort array, let's see if that functions right. It will actually sort it alphabetically, like the whole thing. Peaches, pickles, all that mess. Uh, suppose theirs is better programmed than what we just did. We just did a very simple check the first letter version. Theirs obviously goes a little bit further than that. This is why it is typically better to use what's built in, if you can, if you're, unless you're required otherwise, than it is to just remake the whole thing all over again. All right, that is the gist of string sorting. As always, if you have any problems or questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, till next time.